everyone, hello and welcome to another little impromptu art stream. We're going to keep this pretty short and simple, probably only going to do one or maybe two uh, paintings tonight. Not a hundred percent sure. Pardon me. Um, trying to get back into the habit of doing at least one thing a day. Uh, so let's see if I can get. All right, I got Photoshop active again, which is good. That is what we want to see for sure, for sure. Cool beans. All right. Do let me know in the chat. Uh, you know, feel free to say hi. Do let me know if um, if. Uh, Are there any issues with the stream, uh, anything like that? Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube later, uh, please feel free to, to like the video or comment if you enjoyed it. All that, or subscribe to my channel. Um, you can follow here on Twitch, uh, or you can look for me on YouTube. I have links below the video. Um, and on my profile page. So, I think what we're going to do here... We're gonna we're gonna start with a sketch. I'm not quite sure what I'm feeling tonight. Maybe I'm gonna do another face to just warm up a bit. Um, those are pretty quick. Uh, mess this face up already. Maybe tonight won't be a face night. We'll see. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do here. Um, it's been a while since I've played a video game on stream, folks, and I know that's what a lot of you followed me for originally. Um, we will get back to that eventually here. Just kind of, there's a lot of stuff kind of going on at the moment, and so it um, can be a little difficult. I really should have started by drawing the shape of the face here. Uh, that's all right. Sometimes I start with a feature and kind of work from there. Been watching. Uh, well, actually, I watched and finished uh, 
a show called Revolutionary Girl Utena the other day. And so I might be I might be drawing Anthony at the moment. I seem to I seem to be heading that direction. <laughs> uh that was a that was a fun series. Uh Melancholy. Uh like a lot of anime from uh that era. Uh, I believe some of the people who worked on it also worked on um, Cowboy Bebop and uh, uh, Evangelion and things, but I, I'm not 100% sure on that. We shall see. Got followed by somebody called Trippin Mixmaster on Twitter. I smell a bot account, but if if they are not, uh, hello, welcome. Uh, so far, no one is in the chat today, but uh, but that's all right. That's all right. Practice is still practice. Is still is still really quite nice. All right, so we're going vaguely anthy-ish here. We're gonna start erasing some of these construction lines a little bit. Excuse me. This is somewhat off model from uh from the the series, but the series to be fair, the series style is very um I think the term is shoujo. Uh uh, you know, sort of similar kind of thing as uh stylistically as like uh nana and uh uh sailor moon Uh, and so, consequently, things are kind of distorted and uh, and whatnot uh, for stylistic reasons. But I'm drawing. She she's she's a very dark. Well, not a very dark, but she's she's a dark skin tone, a noticeably dark skin tone for anime um, uh, in the series. And so, I imagine her being um, possibly Desi or even. Uh, uh, African descended. Um, there's very little about the setting that demands, uh, you know, like, uh, oh, all these people must be Japanese or whatnot. The setting is sort of, uh, this, there's very little about that setting that sort of demands, oh, all these people must be from Japan and in Japan and whatever. The setting is generic quasi-European fantasy world. Um, I normally would put a little smile mark there, but uh, Anthe, when she's not interacting with anyone, is a very sad character. Sort of very melancholy. Uh, if you know, if you're familiar with the story of the series, there's a very good reason for that. But uh, it is definitely sort of noticeable. Um, but yeah, I sort of always pictured Anthe even before I'd seen the series, just seeing character art of her and 
so forth all over the place, which is kind of why I decided to watch it eventually when I discovered that it was on YouTube officially, legally, for free, um, put there by whoever was, whoever currently uh, holds the distribution rights. Um, when I decided to to start watching, um, it was yeah, sorry. Even before I'd started watching, I'd sort of uh, pictured her already as uh, sort of. Kind of African, maybe like I said, maybe Desi or something like that, uh, which is really cool, by the way. Uh, in anime, in media generally, uh, especially the kind that becomes popular in Japan and in the West when it's exported, um, that. That doesn't happen very often. Now, she has long hair, but it's curled into sort of buns, as a, not buns, but sort of a roll at the back of her head, as I recall. Sort of down here-ish, I think, maybe? Which is a very interesting kind of hairstyle. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, it's not. All right. Now the question is, do I want to draw her in her um, rose bride outfit or in uh, the school outfit? By the end of the series, she's spending about equal amounts of time in both. Uh, I feel like they're both kind of iconic and recognizable. I don't know. Anyway, that will determine what sort of collar we do down here. Um, Just gonna check on uh, check on some things here for a second. Yeah, so. Kind of a uh, uh, just think here, think, 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 think. All right. All right, we're going to go with the uh, the school sort of yukata thing. Is what we're going to do. That's my plan. That's my plan. Bringing in a reference image to uh, kind of get some ideas of uh, colors and such when we get there, and also particularly this collar. I remembered it was um, there was a bit more detail to it than just your standard sort of like Sailor Fuku uh, thing going on. I wanted to just double check on that. Normally I do like under sketches and stuff, but today I'm just sort of, uh, we're just kind of going.
Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Just uh, like I said, I'm, I usually don't um do much in the way of uh like just direct sketching in a while, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that here. barest indication of uh, the sort of top of the breastbone there. Oh, sorry if I tugged my cable there, folks. Just a second. Sorry, um, uh, one of my my uh, my uh, significant others having some trouble with her internet. Um, I guess they had a major power outage and everything's kind of broken now. So, sort of texting her to see if I can help. Uh, I can't really help, but I can at least be a little bit of a moral support. Um, so I'm sort of bopping back and forth there uh, as well. All right, I'm going to grab, start grabbing uh, some of these colors here. So we've got hair shadow is uh, this color. The hair midtones is this color. Highlights is that. Got our Yukata shadow there and there, and this sort of blue color adjacent for the shadows on the dress. And our scarf is this color. And we need a skin tone, which is going to be.
like so and make sure I absolutely get that 100% shadow which is going to be I think that's just pure white, the highlights on her cheekbones, but just in case. Just in case. And I'm going to zoom in a bit here to uh, grab the eye color. A very pale green. Cool. Now I can drop the. Uh, Uh, reference picture away. I'm going to hit save here, save our progress. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. So let's get in here. We've made a new layer for um, our colors, and I've just put the palette directly on that because we're going to be, if need be, we can just erase that part. Um, I'm not going to worry about. Um, about uh oh i am missing words all over the place here today please forgive me it was a kind of a long hot day uh i'll erase uh the whites of her eyes in a little while, or I might even just use the sort of off-white color that we got for the uh, cheekbone highlights. I'm going a little bit outside the lines here because I can. And because I'm going to be covering that up with other colors later, and it's better to overdo it very slightly than to not do enough. You can always rein yourself back in. Uh, this is true in acting as well on the stage, uh, which I did in high school quite a bit. It's always easier to for a director or you know for your yourself as an artist to pull something back. Um, than it is to sort of push something out. So you've really gotta, you've really just gotta go for it, uh, even if that means coloring outside the lines sometimes. Um, because you can always, you can always step that back as need be. But it's it's very very hard if you're not going for something full bore right at the start. Um, to to, it's much harder to ramp up than it is to to, to sort of reading real back uh, but anyway that's neither here nor there uh, here I am philosophizing about uh, coloring outside the line Excuse me. All right, I, I'm going to 
draw in her uh, glasses. She has glasses, very large, round glasses uh, that I'm going to draw in later. Right now, we're just getting the colors of the face and stuff. I'm also going to redraw this li this uh, line art uh, in a little bit with a thinner a thinner brush. Um, but that's that's all to come. Uh, right now, we're just worried about uh, getting these base colors in. Like I said, this is this this part of the stream is just going to be a quick sketch, uh, and then I'm going to do another sketch uh, in a little while. I'm probably going to do the planet Venus, something with clouds, lots of clouds, maybe some balloons. It's all to come. A little preview for you. So right now we're just finishing this little fan, piece of fan art here. Uh, so I guess now we proceed to shadows here I'm actually going to do we're not going to do the super flat style because I'm actually not any good at it <laughs> I uh, I'm not nearly confident enough with like putting blocks of color in places to achieve the uh, uh, flat look this this by the way is what I call super flat sort of the classic shell shading um, anime style. Um, I'm not confident enough to achieve that uh, with any sort of regularity, so I do a lot of like sort of standard gradient kind of soft brush stroke shading. Uh, so we're going to turn our brush now down from 100% opacity to 50% opacity. We're going to make sure we have our um, dark color selected. And we're going to start pulling in shadows here underneath the hair. Inside the ear, especially near the top. And then especially want to pay attention to the shadow cast by the chin. I'm just grabbing uh, some of the color from where it overlapped, um, going back and forth. The mid-range opacity brush to sort of blend the colors a bit better. A um, little trick I learned uh, in a in a book. Lots of cool things you can learn in books. I'm going to use this dark color to shade the upper lip. And a little shadow here underneath the nose. I'm not wearing my glasses right now, and I really should be. But, you know, YOLO. Add little shadows on the corners of the eyes. 
indicate where things are kind of bending around. There's a tiniest bit of shadow here to indicate cheekbones and so on. Not too much though, not too much. Be very careful about that. All right, one second. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of shading here at the hairline, even though this is going to get colored up, covered up, um, we're going to allow some of this to sort of blend out. A little bit. Give an impression of uh, depth. And curvature. Very important things. I'm going to take this red color and go even lighter, like 200%, like 20% opacity, and just start very, very gently adding that to the tip of the nose. Because everyone's noses are a little bit redder than the rest of their face. So I'm going to color back over that now. with the that looks nice all right we're going to do the same thing for a little bit of blush in the cheeks we're going to grab that pink color even though that's going to be the color of her uh, like sort of scarf down here. Um, we're still going to use that as a red color, partly because I don't feel like finding another red, and also because it's the fewer colors that you use in a picture, the more um, things look like they belong together, and that's sort of important uh, for making things look really nice. Uh, do this. Like so, a little bit of pink here in the lips as well, and now to make it blend, will it blend? To make it blend, we're going to come back with the normal skin tone and just kind of very, very gently. We're still using just twenty percent opacity brushes here. I'm going to blend that out, make the brush a little bit larger. That out very slightly. Of our shadow. Make sure we've shaded underneath the lip there. All right. <sighs> Just thinking here.
All right. Now, grab that shadow again. Put that back up to 50% because we're going to come in here, make shadows of the nose because our light is going to be kind of cast from this direction and going this way. Well, I mean, it's kind of more from the front than that. It's kind of front and in sort of to the side. But still, you get the idea. You get the idea. I'm going to save. Save our progress. Um, one second. I'm going to uh, getting reports that we're having some trouble loading the stream, so I'm going to try and double check that I can load it myself. Uh, see if it even says that I'm online. It should. Everything is set up uh, correctly. It says live now. You might hear some feedback as we open this. Um, all right, I can see I can see my picture here. Just giving a, a little bit of buffering issues. Oh well, um, yeah, it is buffering a lot. I can't tell why that's happening. I I apologize, folks, if uh, if it's not running smoothly for you. Um, could be an issue on my end. I'm gonna try and I've got something running in the background. See if I can pause that and if that makes it a little bit better. Okay, that seems to have pushed our uh, stream quality up into the green on OBS again. So, uh, let's see how it goes. All right, drone cut. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna drop back into Photoshop here, and uh, where were we? All right, so we've done the shading uh, from the nose and things like that. We've determined where our light source is. Now, I think the next thing I want to do is come in and do the eyes because the eyes are always like my favorite thing to do we're gonna grab this off-white bluish color for the eyes that's going that sounds weird bear with me um, eyes are almost never pure white and usually they have a um, very very slightly bluish cast to them in the shadows uh, some people have a more of a, a, a want to say almost uh, greenish tint in their eyes. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. Yellow. They have more of a yellow kind of thing going on. Uh, and of course, if you've got like jaundice or something like that, it's even more pronounced. But in general, the whites of the eyes are not white. They're slightly off-white. Uh, either to the cool or the warm end. And since Anthe's character is kind of, um, I would say, cool emotionally, uh, we're going to go with cool colors. And I'm just going to actually knock that back slightly with this skin tone. Very, very, very lightly like 20% opacity again just to shade in give a little bit of sense of uh, curvature and shadow hello Gramau and welcome back to the stream I'm uh, doing a little bit of fan art here to warm up um, uh, because I started drawing a face and it turned into Anthe Himamiya from Revolutionary Girl Utena um, 
so we're doing that and uh, discussed a little bit earlier that um, I'm not really drawing on model for the series because um, the art style there is very um, it's like Sailor Moon and Nana and uh, that sort of thing where things are very like very long and thin and frail looking um, like is that is that sho shoujo man manga is that the right term it's uh i i don't know my terminology as well as i should but yeah so that that looks about better it looks better for the whites of the eyes here and what we're going to do what we're going to do 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 we're going to grab that eye color And we're going to come in and we're going to make these pupils. We're going to put that back up to 100% opacity. We're going to make these pupils nice and filled in. I'm going to be coming back in over top of this with um, uh, more distinct lines and things like that in just a bit. So uh, bear with us here. Right now I'm just kind of getting the flats in where they need to be. Uh, all right. Gonna leave the coloring of the eyes for last. You're annoyed that you watched it without that I watched it without you to be I mean I would love to watch it again and I didn't understand most of what happened the first time, so it'll be kind of like watching it all over again with you. And and it's on YouTube for us to to watch together. Uh whenever you would like um uh i'm i am i'm more than happy to do that again i i understand your annoyance though <laughs> um i just i i checked it out because i was like okay what what is this and then i couldn't stop watching it um There were some episodes missing and stuff too, so there's 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 things I've missed, definitely, definitely, for sure. Um, all right, I think we're gonna work on the hair next. You don't want to watch it with someone who's already seen it, though. I I can be very, I can make it as if I've never seen it before. I can I can I can I can not spoil anything. Or uh, or be like, oh, this part coming up, because I would like to I would like to catch your reactions because you've never seen it before either. I'd love to I'd love to get your reactions on it and stuff too, and share that with you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here we go. Um, let's go in here with the hair. So we're going to let the hair be sort of less opaque down at the hairline. I'm going to use the tip of my brush to kind of get uh, some uh, bristles showing through. And once we're away from that, then we'll start um, kind of trying to fill in a bit more and better here. More solidly, I mean. This on the sort of rose background is a lot stronger. This is this violet than I was expecting. I mean, I pulled this directly from the from the reference image, and it's uh, it is it is looking much different, uh, not on a white background. I dig it. I dig how how intense it's getting. But, uh, it's definitely quite different. 
change the dynamic even try not to spoil things. I'm sorry. I still really want to watch it with you because I want to know what you think. I want to talk about it with you. <laughs> I think you'll really like it. You'll either like really like it or 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 really not like it, and either one of those would be interesting to talk about, uh, like the reasons why and so on. All right, so she's got the sort of hair thing going on down here with little flyaways before we get into the strange curl or braid or whatever this is. It goes all the way around the back, but we can't see it over here because it's harder to see. Uh, and with a smaller brush, I'm just going to draw some like flyaways, and I should probably paint in the eyebrows as well. I'm going to make her hair somewhat kinkier than uh, it's drawn in the sort of anime reference because, as I was saying before, like she, her character design strikes me as definitely like not Japanese, um, which like works in the context of the show because there's like it's not in Japan. It's set in sort of some never identified, vaguely European fantasy looking place but like nobody's specifically from anywhere <laughs> uh it bears almost no relation to earth as we understand it uh Uh, right, so now, now, um, I'm going to tackle our shadows here. probably done too much uh, shadows, but that's okay, because we'll come back in with the mid-color and the highlight and fix that. Now, I'm about to go a little bit overboard with the highlight color. Get that brush nice and big to get the bristles going on here. And these, her hair is very shiny, so like the highlights are going to be really small near the top, sort of indicate some of that. Muting me because I don't want to know anything. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, 
Uh, I am done talking about the show. <laughs> um, yes, no spoilers, no spoilers. All right, now we're going to come back in here. Sort of gonna grab our and we're gonna grab our mid tone again and there. There, there, there. That looks good. That's looking good. Grab that to do right in there. go back to our skin tone and just bring that up into the hairline a little bit because sort of come down a bit further than I'd like to. All right. Now on to this Sailor Fuku thing going on. Gone a long time without spoiling yourself. I can understand, so I won't. I won't mention anything more about uh, like the 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 details or anything like that, because I I don't want to spoil you on it either. I want to want to know what you make of it when you do finally see it, because it's uh it is wild. <laughs> like I said before, I don't even really understand what the heck happened. <laughs> Um, so, here we go, I'll draw back in some of this details here. Um, all right, now onto the clothing. Another quick thing here. Like I said before, I'm kind of going outside the lines because, uh, like I said, I'm going to redraw some of these lines uh, in a little bit, give it a little bit more definition in places, and also because we're, we're mashing up against some other colors, so I can always use those colors to define the shape a bit more uh, instead of erasing or what have you. This shadow is going to be cast somewhat by her neck here. And also by the fold in the clothing itself. Shadows here and where it curves around to go over the edge of the fabric. Just a little bit here to give it some thickness on the bottom edge. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. 
I'll put in that white uh, highlight in just a bit. The next thing we're going to do is this scarf, which is a lovely color. It comes in here. It's very poofy, and it would be tied underneath. There's no or almost no uh, shading on this scarf, so I'm not going to put any uh, on this either. Uh, and now we're going to grab this off-white and start putting that into the, the poofy um, dress blouse thing going on here. I'm going to come back and grab this off-white thing here, very slightly blue. Gives the impression that this, uh, that these, um, this uh, blouse is sort of a glacial uh, white color as opposed to a, strictly speaking, a, a, a blue or, or a white. Um, Okay, I'm going to want to redraw some of these lines. Make them sort of less opaque for the moment. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use this sort of rose ish color for the outline, but I'm going to make it even slightly darker. Okay. I'm going to zoom up on 100% of um, zoom here and I'm going to start with the nose, which is the most striking part of this face that I've drawn here. I'm going to go ahead and draw in the little anime nose shadow detail here, as well as the nostrils. Uh, other nostril is not really where I want it to be. Oh, and I shouldn't have been drawing it on top of my line art. I'm a dunce. I'm a dunce. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Well, um, doesn't matter. Make a new layer on top. Draw in this line again. And it won't matter that we have it duplicated underneath. Uh, a brush nice and small to do the outline of the uh, the uh, eyebrows here. I'm actually going to make this brush 50% opacity for doing the lines outlining the eye. Alright, 
I'm just varying the size of my brush. I'm going to make it smaller to do sort of these more delicate uh, detail sort of things. All right, around here on the chin, and then uh, details on the ear. All right. Okay, now we'll come back in here and we'll redraw of these in here. Now we draw the outline of the irises here, and we get the pupils. Same trick as the other times I've done eyes. Shadow at the top. Eyes are always a little bit kind of sleepy looking. We'll grab let's, see, let's go down here to layer one and let's knock out some of in the original uh, drawing some of this uh, junk that's in the iris because I want to have a little bit more control of the over the shading here. and this line as well. Knock out some of that. Just a little bit. Just 
just a little bit. All right. I already kind of screwed that up because we've determined that our light is coming, light source is coming this way down. So, a little bit more shade there. That little line going through that way. Same thing over here. All right, now we come in and we grab some of this light color, this off white glacial blue kind of thing, and we add just a little bit of a highlight going on here and a smaller one on that side same thing on this side go a bit of a highlight over here and just a smaller one over on this side And it's, this is looking good. This is looking very good. Um, just a tiny bit. We're going to grab the face highlight here to do the highlighting on the lips. I'm actually even going to uh, knock that back a little bit. Some of that's a little bit too bright for the lips. Okay. Um, go back to our color layer. Grab our blush. I'm going to make this 10% and we're going to put a little bit more back into the cheeks here. And do the tip of the nose. And knock it back even a little bit again. Just going back and forth, back and forth over it, and kind of layer it and soften it a little bit more. Now we grab our highlight color again. And if we look on our reference page, she's got very like bright highlights on her cheekbones. So we're going to kind of mimic that here. Don't forget to highlight the tip of your nose to make it uh, render out into space a little bit more. A little bit. Highlight here on her cheek as well. A 
bring it up to 50% to just daub even more. Really very bright cheekbones. All right, looks pretty good. Grab that face color again and just blend that into the nose some more. Knock that highlight back even a little bit more. Get blend in just a little less conspicuously. All right, and we'll save that. We'll um, come down here and with our eraser and just kind of wrangle in some of these edges. Back up to our line art, do the same thing. And on our second layer of line art, we've done our um, dark red uh, color. We're going to use that same color to do our glasses, which are going to be on her face, the bridge of the nose, where they cross over. I actually probably should do this in another layer, huh? Right. Let me do the set of there. I'm going to correct these in just a moment. With our eraser tool, make them more circular. Also, going to knock out parts of them. Just the suggestion of her glasses there. All right, and now we'll control S, save, a little signature in there, and grab our palette and chuck that. Oh, should have saved there. There we go. Now we layer, flatten image, yes, discard hidden layers. 
and we save as PNG. Et voila. All right. So now, now we get back on track for the meat of the thing. I still haven't decided what this is going to be. I was thinking about doing Planet Venus. Um, what do you have any requests, Cassandra? I think you're our only viewer tonight, and this picture is going to be for you. Is there anything you'd like to see me draw? Why Venus? Um, because I did uh, Saturn last night, and I was thinking I could do something with um, clouds and balloons, like a balloon city on Venus, floating in the sky in the clouds and stuff. Um, was thinking about something like that. But I'm not sure. You know, uh, but why? <laughs> um, because I like Venus as a planet, even though the surface is kind of hellish. Uh, the uh, the clouds and stuff are actually apparently, um, if you can survive the wind speed, uh, if you could float above the cloud tops, um, uh, it's apparently quite pleasant uh, at that level in the atmosphere. Um, so balloons are sort of appealing. Uh, from a science fiction kind of setting <laughs> standpoint. I don't know. Uh, if you think that'd be cool, I think I might do that. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cause the stream to drop out very briefly um, to sort of separate these two drawings uh, in the VODs. Uh, so I'll be right back in uh, just a moment. Uh, so just hold on a second. You'll see the stream go offline and it should come right back on again. It's not super into Venus if you're wondering uh, why you'd want to draw it for me. Yeah, you know, that's a that's the other thing. So I think I was just thinking of drawing it because it was always in my head. So if you'd like me to draw something else... Um, I'd be super into that. Maybe I could draw like an underwater scene with some fishes and things. How does that sound? Because I know you're into, uh, what is it, Abzu uh, and Subnautica. And that could be fun. Uh, yeah, just uh, hang out in, in uh, chat for a second. I'm just going to drop the stream and be right back. Be right back. <laughs> 